Hi yo, Cryo here. Welcome back to my Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke. So we are going to take on the gym. Let's talk to our friend over here. We will gladly share the weakness of the typical gym leader. Hey, I'm no trainer. I can give some advice. Believe me if you believe a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type. Oh, he actually does say the name of the randomized type. Well, that's cool. That's actually really cool. Huh. The grass type is weak to flying type. Keep this in mind. So this gym uses grass type Pokemon. So eat me, yeah, it's gonna be a big no for you. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to price this one out. Well, actually, three of my Pokemon are weak to grass types. I mean, at least Crumbles can take a hit or two. So that's okay. And then let's fight these two trainers. Let me see if you are good enough to take to, to face Fel Falconer, even though that's not his name because the names are randomized. And Ace Trainer Rachel wants to battle. Wait, this isn't the Grass type. That's a Steel type Pokemon. That's a straight up Steel type Pokemon, and I don't have any ground moves. Okay. Well, I'll hit it with a Screech here. Yeah, this is shaking from how much defense it lost. Thundershock, how much is that going to do? Pretty good amount. Um, okay, Steel-type does resist um, Dark-types in Generation 2, though. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay. Nice, okay. So that wasn't too much of a, of a great... or too much of a hassle. This can't be true! Okay, so they use either Steel or Electric types. Question is which? If this next trainer also uses a Magnemite, I won't be, I won't be able to tell. Um, just because Magnemite is Steel and Electric type. The key word is Guts. Ew, gross. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on! Well, I mean, you're ace trainers and you don't use bird Pokemon, but sure. No, you, you do you, man. Okay, hopefully your second Pokemon is also not a Magnemite. Obviously you can't use Thundershock here, so I'll just kind of do that. And it's another Magnemite, so I have no idea what type of Pokemon um, that that Falconer will have. Maybe he'll also have a Magnemite. I'm Falconer, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon wings with a jolt of electricity. Oddies should, should say that because I've seen electric type Pokemon in your gym. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Well, let's take a look at his, uh, his birds. Why don't we? Author Jill. Hey, he's part of Team Rocket. He's he's an author. Okay, Magnemite. That's what I expected. Level 7. So obviously Thundershock's gonna hurt from it. He shouldn't take me out. Okay, Spikes. Get those set up. How much is this gonna hurt? Okay, didn't do that much. Obviously, I'm gonna switch out. Is why, in my right mind, would I stay in with Buffoon? That's a big no no. Hey, Elephant, let's take out this Magmite. Yeah! Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like them apples? I'm just gonna kinda. This. Well, because it's gonna be like the same thing, just me spamming Heart Attack. Let's may as well speed through that. And. Another Magdemite! You know, this gym has been really diverse. You know, I've seen so many Pokemon, like, like Magnemite and, and, uh, and, uh, and Magnemite. Like, okay. So I guess I'll never know if this was an electric or a steel type gym. Huh. Okay, uh, well, I'll, I'll stay in with Terrellfin. And it's, yeah, level 9, yep. Yeah. Okay. At least we got some nice chip damage off the spikes. 
and yes, yeah, same old, same old. I don't typically speed through gym leader battles, but if it's like me using not not very effective hits against a Magnemite, who's just going to tackle, and I'm going to just recover with leftovers. You know, you don't want to sit through like five minutes of that. Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon, Magnemite. All right, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge. And there it is, there's our first badge. Yeah! We beat up a whole bunch of Magnemites, and by a whole bunch I mean five total. Raises the attack power Pokemon. Again, I'm not sure if that actually does or not. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash, if they have it any anyway. Here, take this too! Are the TMs randomized at the give out? I don't think so. So it should be a mud slap. Right? Uh, okay, instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. Team can only be used once. Yes, it does. Mud slap. So, this might be a good option to teach to um, to Terrelephant, probably. Right? Yeah, because he's a ground type. He should know a ground type move, at least. It's not a very strong one, but it's something. It's not going to learn Earthquake for a while. Or any other ground type moves. At least I don't think. Maybe he learns Dig earlier. Oh, another phone call. Hey, Professor Elm. <laughs> Hello, Cryo. We, we discovered some something about the egg. My assistant is the, in the, at the Pokemon Center in Bio City. Could you talk to him? Click. Oh, you alright? Whatever you say, Professor. Um, I mean, I hope this isn't about the club materials. It's, it's always something about the club materials. I don't even know quite what they are. I mean, they, they could just be, you know, like, uh, I don't know, could be like bottles, just like glass bottles that the company or that the club needs, or just like typical supplies, like, uh, I don't know, stools, and by stools I mean like the chair kind of stool, not like a other kind of stool. Anywho, Cryo, long time no see, Professor Elm asked me to find you, he has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon Egg? Yes, actually, I will. Uh, it's not gonna be a Togepi, I don't think. Uh, I'm not sure who what's gonna hatch into, but we'll find out. Hatch uh, until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Crow, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when that egg hatches. Okay, sure thing. Alright, so we got our first badge achieved, gotten, obtained. Oh, that's a nice egg sprite. I can make an omelette with that egg. So our team is... Well, technically it's full at the moment. At least until the egg hatches, which... From my experience, it typically hatches in Goldenrod City, or around there. So, for the time being, I will just keep training up the rest of my team members here. I'll catch up any backup Pokemon, switch out Pokemon if I need to. Probably one of the first... Some of the first Pokemon I'll switch out will be either Shelter or my Beedrill. This guy should have an item for us. It's probably not Miracle Seed, but what do you have? You have some good Pokemon there. Must be from the training you gave them around Bylo City. The training in the gym must have been especially helpful. I mean, not, not really. As a souvenir, Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass type moves. Oh, it actually is the Miracle Seed. Okay. Your experiences in Violet City should be useful for your journey. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I don't have any Pokemon that know grass type moves yet. I'll hold on to it, obviously. And what's our encounter for this route? What do we got? It's an Oddish! Okay, we actually might switch out a Pokemon for Oddish. Probably Fuzzy Bee. I do want to have like an Ice type on my team, because again, like it's kind of obligatory for me. I love Ice types, even if they are Shelter. So I'll hit it with a Poison Sting. It's level seven too, so I don't need to do a lot of training with it, which is always a good thing. 
Nose Absorb. I can give it the Miracle Seed. You know, it's a win-win situation. And I can evolve it into Blossom in this generation. Granted, I can bind a Sunstone. So I suppose it all depends on if I happen to pick up a Sunstone or a Leaf Stone. Actually, I think a Sunstone might be one of the prizes for the Bug Catching Contest, which I could do. Um, so that might be worth checking out. Let's chuck ourselves a Pokeball. And we also have uh, yet another um, encounter coming up in the... I think it's called the Union Tunnel, Union Cave. Okay, Oddish, what do we want to name you? So you're not like the False Messiah uh, Weeping Bell, who I named Master Meltmaster. Oddish the Weed Pokemon. During the day, it stays in the cold underground to avoid the sun. It grows by bathing in moonlight. Okay, moonlight, bathing, moon bath. Which is going to be a real awkward name if you if I evolve you into a into a blossom whose whole thing is like the sun. And most do one word. No hyphens for you. Moonbath. Okay, great. And we'll go ahead and pick up Moonbath once we reach the Pokemon Center down here. Oh, it's a Sandshrew. I guess. Man, we could have gotten a Lapras. We could have gotten a Lapras if if we ran into a Sandshrew. Uh, unfortunately for us, we did not. Man, that's that's sad. I'm I'm sad now. We could have had a Sandshrew. I mean, not a Sandshrew. We could have had a Lapras because we could have traded for a uh, Lapras through the Sandshrew. Well, although we wouldn't have been able to nickname it though, because it's a traded Pokemon. So we'll just kind of do do that. Try switch out a uh, buffoon here. It's kind of weak in the in the HPs. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I haven't seen you around before, so you think you are pretty tough? I'd say I'm not sure at this point. I do have a Tyranitar and a Don Can. That make me pretty tough, performer Wayne. Okay, we got a Diglett. If it knows Magnitude, that's gonna hurt. But I know Bite, and you're weak defensively, so goodbye. Bye bye, Diglett. And hello, Crumbles. And what we got up next? Swin Swina. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of Ice types in Generation 2 either. So we've got Lapras, Cloyster, Delibird, Hyloswine. And, uh, oh, Sneasel, I suppose. Uh, if anything, I would absolutely prefer a Pyloswine. It's the strongest ice type in this gen. But beggars can't be choosers, and I do have a, a Shelter at least. Right, okay, yeah, so probably switch out to a Pokemon. Instead of just rambling on about which ice types I want. do 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 Okay, we're gonna have a tackle off, bro, you and me. Alright. And who do I have? Okay, Crumbles is still up front. Uh, okay, these guys are level 11. I guess Buffoon should be... Should have high enough HP to do a little bit of battling. Is there anything over here? And there's a Pokeball. And a Lure Ball. So I think that's good for catching Pokemon that you catch while fishing. Oh, Hitmonlee! It's Elbow, it's Elbow Grease's uh, long lost cousin. Oh, nice, and a critical hit and a poison. Yeah, double kick shouldn't do that much. Look at that. Measly two damage. That's nothing to buffoon. Like you. You are nothing to buffoon, Hitmonlee. Be gone. Alright, way to go, buffoon. Okay, let's battle this. This female. Uh huh, yeah, and you know. Pardon? Battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, alright, but make it fast. So I guess she's just gonna battle us while she's having a phone call? I mean, sure. Why not? Picnicker, or should I say swimmer female Thomas? I guess it kinda, kinda works. 
Horsey, Horsey! Hey! I remember you, Horsey. You hurt my, uh... My Terrellophant. Oh, nice, you got a, a poison. And she just has the one Pokemon, right? So I don't think... Setting out spikes is gonna do any good. Uh... I'll go ahead, I'll let the poison do its work. I'll set up a minimize. Set up one more minimize. One more minimize. Oh, it's still hit. Okay, I was just trying to conserve um, power points for poison sting. As well as HP. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, hey. Hi there, buddy. That glance. It's intriguing. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, I can't fault you. I can't fault you there. Leader Joey wants to bet. Who, who said you're the leader? Is that like a self-proclaimed uh, title ship of a leader? Or, or what, what do we got here? Okay, Terrellophant, looks like you're up. Oh, that's right. He has Mud Slap, which is four times effective against the Steel and Electric type. So let's get these reorganized. It is a special move. So it's not drawing from his strongest attack stat. Plus a stab move and... Yeah, should do the job. And there we go, Trailfin up to level 12 now. And level 16 is the next max level limit, so I need to keep my eye on the levels. Hmm, this is disappointing. Okay. We have a couple of Fisher dudes. Fishermen. Over here. So let's go say hi to them. This looks more like a brick row than it does a, a fishing pier. My Pokemon? Freshly caught. Let's see which Pokemon he managed to bring up with his fishing rod. Author Mike. Sent out a Psyduck. Okay, you can actually find those with a fishing rod. So everything checks out for now. Okay, Crumbles. I believe in the heart of cards. This isn't Yu-Gi-Oh, but it doesn't need to be. Oh, and it even missed- oh, the poor Psyduck, it missed the Tail Whip, it's, it's one move it gets to use and it uses a missed Tail Whip. It's very unfortunate for him. And a Golding. Oh hey, it's, uh, it's Matey. Hey Matey, how you doing? Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to, uh, to chomp down on this goldfish while it uses peck. Quite impeccable, if I do say so myself. That was a very bad joke. But you, I mean, you should kind of come to expect that from me, you know? Splash? No, not Splash. How, d how dare you mention Splash to me? We don't, we don't mention that flopping fish from, from Route 31 or wherever it was, the first route. Author Pie! Like, that's the second person in pie I've come across. Okay, he's got a nice smoochum. Come here, give me a smooch smoochum. Just kidding, I'm gonna chomp down on you. Nom 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 nom. Delicious level 5 Pokemon. Feed me more! Feed me more! Crumbles will not be satisfied by one level 5 smoochum. Ah, another level 5 smoochum. Perhaps this will quench my appetite. Hmm, what do we see here? No, not quite. I need more, more level 5 smoochums. Nom nom nom, just kidding. Uh, Abra. Okay, we'll switch out to Fuzzy Bee. Fuzzy Bee needs some levels. Uh, well, Eat Me also needs some levels here. But I'll wait till I heal up at the Pokemon Center. Because he's doing kind of weak. He's not doing kind of weak, he is kind of weak. Okay. Does it know Confusion at level 15? I... Hmm. I'm not risking it. Why Why would I ever risk it? See, this is a mind mindset that gets Pokemon uh, saved from death. I was going to say that gets Pokemon killed, but... No, the opposite mindset gets Pokemon killed. Is if you're... If you think that a Pokemon isn't going to have a move, and then it does, and it's like, Oh no, it killed my Pokemon, because I didn't think it actually had that move. Gotta always play it safe in those locks. Right, like living on the edge is cool and all, but it doesn't do much good if you lose a Pokemon. 
Okay, now I feel confident that it does not have confusion. I would say like maybe 60% more confident than it was. Oh, solo 5. Okay, there's no way it has confusion then. Statistically speaking, it cannot have confusion. Abra begun. Really, that's it? It's, it's like six levels lower than you, and it has terrible defense. How is that all the damage you could do, Fuzzy Bee? It's a good thing that I'm switching you out with Oddish, because... Man, you are... Not great, Fuzzy Bee. I suppose it's a good thing that I actually boxed you in... Back in the last Nuzlocke run. Sploosh! Is you are... Oh, what? Oh, hi, it's my mom. Hi, Cryo, how are you? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your PC, you'll... Uh, whatever. Okay. okay, cool. So we don't actually have to go visit our mom to get the items. That's nice. Yeah, wait, why am I bothering training up Fuzzy B? I'm just gonna switch them out. Or, uh, replace them. Let's battle you! I'm really good at both fishing and Pokémon. I'm not about to lose to any kid. Not just any kid. Well, you're not going to lose to any kid at all. You're going to lose to THE kid. THE best kid around. Author Joe is sending out an execute. Alright, if you think that you could, that could take down Crumbles, then uh, good on ya. Oh, I guess execute is grass and psychic type. I thought it was... I could have sworn it was just pure grass at, at first. Well, the more you know. Titch. I, I, didn't, I don't know how to pronounce that. I tried to rush things! Alright, and here we go. Okay, one more fight. One more fight, one more battle. I found some good Pokémon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Oh, great. Why, why do you want to see them do it? That's, that's nasty, bro. Pretty sure there are some laws against that. Performer Mike. Why are there so many Mikes? I, like, Mike is a common name, but... Oh. Oh, yeah, no. There's not a chance that I'm keeping Crumbles in against a Fighting-type Pokémon. Who, despite being low-level, might have, like, low kick or something. I'm not about to, uh... to lose a Tyranitar to something like that. Okay, well, it's just using Tackle for now. I still don't trust it. Hmm. They okay, tackle still. That's fine. Uh. Okay. Like I'm, I'm I don't want to switch out into the Tyranitar. What if he just pulls a low kick out of nowhere? Because he is slightly smarter, and he actually uses like. If one of his moves is resisted, I'll use a different move, right? Okay, Performer Mike, he was defeated. Darn, I thought I could win! But I could not! Well, actually, no, there is indeed one more trainer down here. But I can battle him after I get the Pokémon Center. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious Slowpoke tail? For you right now, just one million Poké Dollars. You want this? Yeah, yeah. T -t 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 that that word again. Tick, tick, tsk, tisk. Well, it's not tisk. I thought kids these days were loaded. Yeah, not with one million Poké Dollars. So we get healed up. Inner Joy. Good evening. Blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, great. Thank you. We'll go ahead and switch out our Pokémon. And... Okay, goodbye, Fuzzy Bee. I'll at least have you as a backup. I appreciate the... At least, you get an A for effort. It wasn't a very good effort, though. Let's bring Oddish here. Oh, that's right, our mother also sent us an item in the PC. Super Potion. Okay. I mean, sure, why not? I don't know where she got a super potion from, they don't sell it at our Pokemart in Cherry Grove. And we've got an X speed. Okay, so I'll battle this trainer down here. And then I will 
do a little bit of training before uh, before Union Cave or Union Tunnel. Well, I, I'm mostly just going to trade Moon or train Moon Bath. Probably get these other guys up to level 12. Let's just battle the Spurred Trainer. Hey, buddy. That badge. It's from Violet City. You beat Falconer? Yeah, uh, him and his two Magnemites. And his gym full of Magnemites. Ace Trainer Nodell. Or, oh, sorry, Noel. Why did I. Okay. I don't know how I saw a D there. There's no D. Oh, it's a good little puppy. Hey, Houndoor. Would you like to eat a, would you like to eat a clam, Houndor? I'm not even gonna try to go for supersonic. It's probably just gonna miss. Ember you can burn me. Like normally I say don't burn me, but I'm quite literally two inches away from the Pokemon Center. And Yeah, I mean he's trying to cook a clam. Respect, but uh Can't beat the clam. Can't, can't jam with this clan. Oh yeah, more than one Pokemon, I forgot. Alright, another Houndour. Another Puppy. It's level 8 though. I'll try Supersonic. Oh, I burned. Okay. I did confuse it though. So I'll switch out here. Go into Puffoon. Wow, okay. This guy's getting lucky with burns. Here goes fine, and uh, I guess we'll finish it off with crumbles. There we go. Okay, let's get our Pokemon healed up, and that should about do it for this episode. So until next time, remember to stay cool, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.